Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our uh, next installment in our series of programs on playing card game Solitaire. Uh, we've received some really uh, strong support and big interest in the game uh, called Clock, which is a game based on the face of the clock and uh, requests, frankly, for other variations of this game. So why don't we try a fun variation of the clock game? This one is called Grandfather Clock. It's a little different. It involves both a foundation and a tableau. You deal out all the cards and try to solve uh, the puzzle. So I think it's worth a shot. What do you say we give it a try here? We'll begin with a quick overview of our deck. Okay, so let's start off with a standard pack of playing cards. As you know, 52 cards, uh, two colors within red and black, four suits within the pack, you know them well, and each suit has 13 ranks within. So that is our standard pack of cards. And let's go ahead and first get them shuffled. Now, of course, the card guy always recommends that you shuffle these. Uh, I'm using a riffle technique here. Uh, do this seven times. And why is that? Well, it's been mathematically proven that it maximizes the randomness so that you're truly starting from uh, a clean slate. Okay. Now let's talk about the layout of our game. Now, before we look at the layout, a quick kind of thought on telling time. Now, depending on your age, when folks say, hey, what time is it? Normally we think of this. And that's a digital clock. Now, if you're older like me, you remember telling time like this, where there are 12 numbers that um, form a circle and the arms move around and so forth. If you're old enough, you're gonna remember the face of the clock. So let's use that for our game. Now imagine your table has the clock positions, generally as I've shown here with 12 at the top and six in the bottom. Your job is to pull from the pack very specific cards and arrange them as you see here. Now you're gonna need a two of hearts, three of spades, four of diamonds, five of clubs, six of hearts, seven of spades, as you see. You're also gonna need eight of diamonds, nine of clubs, 10 of hearts, jack of spades, queen of diamonds, and king of clubs. Now your job is to arrange them in a foundation in a certain way. And you're gonna notice that the value of the card differs from the position on the clock. A little confusing, but you're gonna get it. So let's think for a moment about the clock position. So imagine 12 is at the top of the clock, but we're gonna put our nine there. So there's gonna be a gap between the nine and the 12. Look at that six. We are going to actually put a three there. Get the idea? Look over at the six o'clock or the nine o'clock position on the far left. We actually put a six there. So there is going to be a gap between the card value and the position of the clock. Your job, close the gap. And how do we do it? You are gonna build up those cards in that very suit until you can match those clock positions. And then you'll win the game. Now this is a unique game in that we don't have a stockpile. We will actually deal all the cards onto the table. So after you've arranged the face of your grandfather clock, go ahead and deal out five rows uh, of eight cards each, and that will complete the pack as you see, uh, as you see here. Now those cards in that base, that's gonna form your tableau. And what you can do in the tableau is build down in any suit to arrange cards and reveal cards and get the cards you need to move them up to the foundation and complete the face of the clock. Okay, sound, uh, sound reasonable? What do you say we give it a try? Okay, well let's start off with a nice clean surface and we will begin by arranging our foundation. Now remember, we have very specific cards that have to go in very specific locations. Nine is at the top, three is at the bottom, the queen, which is the twelfth card, is in the three o'clock position, and so on. So now we're going to deal off the balance of the pack. That's five more rows of cards that are eight uh, cards a piece. So the entire pack will be dealt out and this will be our tableau. We're going to use that tableau to move cards and move them up to the clock face. Now let's first, let's study some values here. And remember that there is a gap between the values and the clock positions. And our job on the clock face is to build up within that very suit. So let's look to the tableau here and see if we can find any moves. And the first card that I see is that five of diamonds. So let's go ahead and grab that five of diamonds 
And what we're gonna do is move it up to the four of diamonds and start building up that pile. So now seven o'clock in that position is a five. We have some more room to go. Here comes the six of clubs. So that eight o'clock position is now a six in terms of the value of the card. Got a couple more cards to kind of close that gap. Now we can also move some cards around on the tableau where that 10 can go on to the jack and we can build down in any suit to move cards around and reveal cards like this eight of spades now revealed up on top of that seven of spades. So we're making some headway in our clock face uh, foundation. Let's take that seven of clubs and put it on the eight. Remember we can build down in any suit we like and now we can move that four onto the five. And again, shuffle some cards, reveal some cards. Here comes the Jack of Hearts. We can place that right up on the 10. Remember, Jack is the 11th card, so we basically have an 11 where the one needs to be. Got some more work to do. Let's take that seven of clubs and put it at the six. We've got maybe three cards there, so we're getting closer to closing the gap between card value and face. Let's move the seven onto the eight. Remember, you can build down in any suit. The King of Diamonds is now revealed to move into that three o'clock position. We're building up, followed by the Ace. We're just a couple cards away here from closing the gap. You can see I've got three cards there so far. What about maybe that Nine of Spades? What can we do with the Nine? Well, if we grab that Nine of Spades, we can place it right up on the Eight of Spades and we can build up that foundation pile. Getting a little bit closer, the Nine of Diamonds can follow go right up on top there and then we can follow it up with the eight of clubs that can go on the seven of clubs you're getting a feel for it now value and position value of the card versus the position on the clock so remember that clock face as you as you play the game we can move this group of cards here and place it onto the six remember we're building down in any suit and by doing so, we can reveal some cards. I'm going to use that king there to claim the empty position on our tableau. And that's going to reveal some cards for me. I'm going to move that queen on top of the king. And maybe now we can play that six of diamonds, put it on that five of diamonds, and get that clock face position advanced. Oh, well, here comes the seven. And now look, we've actually grown the value of the card to equal the position on the clock. That is seven o'clock. On the clock so we're completed on that on that pile here comes the ten of spades we've completed uh, where the value of the card is the clock face so now you're getting a feel for it now we can put the ten of diamonds up there and now look we can put the jack of diamonds on it the jack is the eleventh card and we've just closed out that pile so we're making some headway here should feel pretty good about yourself now the ten of clubs is going up there next still got some more wood to chop there now let's move that eight of hearts just onto our tableau to reveal that jack and what can we do with the jack well remember he's the eleventh card so he's up at the top we've got one more card to go here comes the queen which is the 12th card we now have the 12th card at the number 12 position on the clock so we've got that pile closed out here comes the queen of hearts on top of that jack let's follow it up with the king which is actually technically the 13th card and then we can follow again with the ace now that is the one it now matches the clock position so you're getting the feel for this here we're making some good uh, progress here so I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit here because I think you're getting the hang of it as cards build now that two uh, equals the position on the clock let's add that four and that five we need the six down there we can add the ace under that king followed by the two we can put that seven of hearts on the six followed by the eight and look here it comes the nine to close out that position we're getting there put the three there add the four uh, here comes the three of clubs on the two we can add it with the four again we're building up in suit to close out those positions so that at the end of the game the clock positions equal the value of the cards and what do you know we've won grandfather clock so give this game a try folks it really is fun it's a great mental exercise and frankly very satisfying to get the clock face uh, to match and to equal the clock positions on the clock, the classic analog clock that we all grew up with. So I wanted to say thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as much as I did. Just wanted to say thanks for joining me and oh, be sure to join us again next time.